All right, hey truck people. So just some quick tips and tools before watching the video. Um, you should replace your spark plugs with the SP546. I have a 2005 Ford F-150. Uh, those 5.4 liter three valves in 2016 Ford said that you should be replacing your spark plugs with these SP546. It'll help with uh, not stripping out the spark plugs. This is the OTC um, 916 socket uh, and extension. This is all one piece and there's a piece of silicone on the inside. Um, here's the oopsies, here's the package right here. So that's part number 6900. It's just a spark plug socket. Highly recommend this if you're replacing your spark plugs because it's a pretty risky job and that tool does help. Another good tool to have is, is a long-handled swivel head uh, ratchet. So this ratchet can swivel and you can get those back spark plugs really easily. This is a 3 8 um, When I actually got the back passenger spark plug off, I just had this and the swivel socket and worked out great. Um, as always, you should PB blast uh, your spark plugs, let them sit for a while, but before that make sure you get the air out. There's plenty of videos guys, so uh, I'd recommend doing those. I'm just going through and showing you mine and giving you tips along the way. And uh, always on YouTube you hear someone say, well, we'll get the back one. Well, I'm getting it right now. Um, you kind of need to really work with your uh, wiring harness and test out a series of sockets. This is about a three inch on top of that OTC extension. I highly highly recommend getting that OTC part. Um, if you're gonna do this, it makes it a lot easier. I wouldn't, you know, a different kind of socket extension to take these out. This is a 5.4 liter three valve. Hi, ghost. Um, these are notorious for breaking plugs and I'm afraid that some of these are held in with Healy coils. I'm not sure if the Healy coils are still in there, but we'll find out once we uh, put the plugs back in. So what's nice about it, when you finally do remove it, um, there's a silicon piece in there that holds the spark plug in so it can grip out. I just took this out of, I think that's cylinder 7. It's on the back right side. So there's one, two, three, and this was the first one to come out easy. So only eight more to go. After you got all your spark plugs out, take some anti-seize. This is that high temp stuff. Uh, you can get this at O'Reilly, that's where I go. And you just want to get it all on the thread. It's just a nice, level, even coat. You don't have to slobber it all in there. You just need to put enough on there. So this is probably upside down for you guys, but I'm going to hold my electrode end. That way I don't get any schmutz on it. Just like that. Just enough. All you need to use is that little bit of the brush. You don't have to slap the whole thing in there. See that? How it's all on the threads. Almost even coat. I'd say that's good right there. Maybe can't even see it because of the light, but just a nice level even coat. I'm practicing what I'm preaching, guys. What I'm doing, I'm turning it in a little bit, turning it out a little bit too. So, I'm making sure that I'm not just going through the motions here. You gotta make sure you do this right. Alright, now that I'm finished with that, it's like hand tight now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna drive it in anymore. I don't wanna strip anything. When I got this truck, um, I was told that there are Healy coils holding in some of the spark plugs. When I took out all the spark plugs on the driver's side, um, nothing came out besides the spark plugs, so that's good. Alright, when doing the passenger side, um, give yourself some room to work out with. Uh, uninstall or unclip this plug right here. You're going to want to un unplug uh, this uh, 
breather right here. That way you can move the harness. Remove this plug right here, that breather. And then just when you're working your way back, remove all the coil packs. I got to the third one back here. And this is what I was using. I was using the OTC extension with this little three inch. And uh, everyone's like, oh, show the back one. Well, the driver's side back, that's, that's gonna be a difficult one, man. It's so far back there, I can't even see the coil pack, really. I can feel it, it's right, it's right back there. Where this white thing is, where my middle finger is, it's right there. It's gonna be a pain, man. A new 3 8 ratchet for this last plug. This has a bendable head so the handle can go up and down, which I don't really like, but it's necessary to get back there. I don't like that, you know, we're not entirely straight on that back plug, because if that back plug goes out, it's going to be a hell of a lot of work to get back there and fix that, especially on the passenger side. That's where all your... Be careful back there. Once again, I'm just using what I used on the third plug, which is that OTC um, extension with the 916s on it and uh, another three inch extension. And I'm getting it. This is a pretty much a $18 ratchet at Farm and Fleet Pro Tool. Apparently it's warrantied, but feels pretty crappy already. All right, you guys probably can't get a good idea of what's going on back here with all the sh camera quality, but this is the top of my ratchet. And this is how much easier that bendable head gives you. Now I'm on the fourth spark plug right there. And it's going in probably real easy. And like I said, put them in and then back them out a little bit and then put them in and back them out. Just keep doing that and you'll get them in nice and hand tight.